You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face from Brockton. I have Isabel Lopez from Brockton Interfaith Community. Welcome, Isabel. Nice to see you. Thank you for having us on your show. Glad, you? glad you're here. You got a big event coming up on the 15th of February right here in Brockton. Tell us about it. So yes, uh, this is uh, an, a unique opportunity, uh, especially with what is going on around the country and in our city. We want to make sure that the communities that live in Brockton feel safe mm -hmm. and feel uh, welcome in Bro living in Brockton. So in 2017, we're going to be facing a lot of challenges. We have already started seeing and feeling them. So um, it is important that we come as a community as one together to strategize and to prioritize for 2017 on the issues that affect Brockton. Now, the name of the event, I love it. One Brockton, one love, one voice. Yes. Because if you think about the strength of Brockton, the strength of Brockton, I think, has always been its diversity. Yes. It is a place where I think everybody feels welcome. Not all the time, but most of the time. But if you look at what's going on nationally, first of all, I think we should be lucky to, that we live in Massachusetts. Yes. Because I feel a little safer just because of that and yes. our elected officials that are here, you know, all over, pretty much most of them. National turned really scary yes. on Election Day mm -hmm. and Inauguration Day. Okay, yes. I'm going to yeah. try not to be too partisan, but I'm a diehard Democrat generally, and I was saddened of what happened. And now, stopping people at the airport, stopping people at the border, not letting gifted and talented people in, surgeons, students, you name it. So that's kind of what the discussion is going to be about. Yes, basically it's about how can we bring each other together, how can we take care of each other while we struggle? How can we bring those that are struggling with many different issues in the community and be there for them and work with them and walk with them and be present with them? Because if we don't build relationships, how can I take care of you if I don't know who you are, if I don't know where you come from, if I don't know your struggles? Though that's that's um, the core, one of the core values of BIG, is to build the relationships, to hear, to listen from the community, and to work together with the community to address, to build the change that they need to have better life, because that's what we all want. We want better life, we want better education, we want better life for those that have been incarcerated. We want better life for the families that live here in Brockton, that they should be working here you know we have a lot of people that you know that struggle on a daily basis we have a lot of people that don't have a home to leave we have a lot of people that are struggling with addiction we have a lot of people that have been going to jail and going back to jail because there are not many resources so this is not new this is what we have heard uh, from the community as a whole 25 years BIC has been doing this Brockton interfaith community with the churches the synagogues all the different organizations, I'm, I'm sure you partner with like the Cape Verde Association, Haitian Community Partners, all the different groups in Brockton. Brockton has a reinvigorated, reactive diversity commission now, which I think is a good sign. Yes, Okay. It is. Um, it is. So basically all you have to do that night is show up, right? Yes. Six o'clock. Right, we're gonna have a potluck dinner because also, you know, through the food is how we get to know each other. So we're gonna have a potluck dinner at 6 p.m and the program will start at 6.30, and this is for everyone. Mm -hmm. This is for the whole community to come together, you know, to build one another and to, you know, care for one another, because that's what community is all about. In Brockton Interfaith Community, you know, this is what we do. This is what, why we care so much. This is why we work with every faith denomination across the city and across the state. In Brockton, we work with every single community that want to work, they want to build something. They want, you know, to care for one another. That's who we are. We're not here to divide with each other. We are here to unify our voices, our love, our passion, what we care for, but also what we struggle with. And we want on that night, we're going to hear from people that are really struggling in the community on these issues. And you're going to hear from people all different races, all different ethnicities, and and religions and um, ages. Yes. Okay, there's all sorts of, there are 
mm -hmm. kids involved in yes. death, young yes. adults, I can say yes. too, and senior citizens. I mean, you think about it, everybody's struggling. Everybody could yes. be a, a paycheck that. away from yeah. not having a place to live or, you know, whatever. Um, I, the potluck is good because food always brings people together. We were talking about that food, music, but think about it, Isabel. People want the same things for themselves. Everybody wants a, a good job, yes. health insurance to take yes. care of themselves, yeah. um, a safe place to live. Yes. You know, if you look at Brockton with the triple deckers and the, the multifamilies, it's just different cultures that have passed through them. It might have been Lithuanians and Irish back in the day. Now it's more Cape Verdean, Haitian, Hispanic, um, you know, all sorts of, and, and, and people we don't even know yet from other countries. I mean, if you think about what's written on the Statue of Liberty, yes. okay, that's stuff that America stands for. Right now there's a lot of people that aren't so sure about that. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't understand it, right. uh, you know. I. I, 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 there's a there's a quote about um, those who do not learn from history yes. are condemned to repeat it. If right. you think about the parallels that went on in Europe in the 30s right. and 40s and things that are going on over here, it is scary. I have students. I teach at Massasoit Community College. I have a lot of international students. I have a lot of students of different cultures. They're a little frightened right now, yes. and we're trying to reassure them at the college. You know, you get these executive orders that come down, and mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to defy the law, but you also got to wonder whether the law is a good law. Right. Or, so, um, yeah, so um, it is important also that, you know, um, you know, for many of us that, you know, that came here one way or the other, it's so important to let everyone know that we are here for the same reasons. We are here because, you know, we're here escaping violence, Many of us are here because we were victims of many human trafficking, mm -hmm. violence, you know, uh, and so there is so much going on in our countries of origin that we are here for the same reason. We are here why the first immigrants came to this country. And so, you know, the fear and the hopelessness is, is very, 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 um, you know, uh, real out there. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that nobody feels unsafe, that nobody feels in fear. So. That's why we are going to, you know, bring more and more the community. And something that I learned is that when you don't acknowledge something that you need to change, you will never be able to change. So we want to make sure that, you know, with everyone that lives in the, in the city of Brockton, that we are here not, you know, we're working, you know, with everyone that is, that is struggling. So there is no such thing as one per se as one nationality, but it's everybody. Because in the congregations that we work with, you, you see a congregation of people from all over the world, and, and that's who we are. And if you go in the schools, you see the same yes. thing. Yes. I see it at the college. Yes. Yes. So I'm just gonna wrap up, they gave me the one minute cue. So the event is a citywide meeting for Brockton Interfaith Community. It's on Wednesday, February 15th, six o'clock, Messiah Baptist Church. Start with potluck, go into the speakers, one Brockton, one love, one voice, put on by Brockton Interfaith. Yes. Isabel, Thank nice you so to see much. you. Glad Thank to see you. Thank you. Here. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.